Hello everybody, today I'm going to talk about Permanent Magnet Synchronous Generator or PMSG. This is actual PMSG setup in the lab. On the right side you can see the letter said PMSG, so this is a generator. On the left side is Permanent Magnet Synchronous Motor, so this is a motor. So how this setup works is that first electricity is going to be sent to this PMSM. PMSM will rotate the shaft of the whole setup. And by rotating the shaft of the PMSG, the PMSG will convert such mechanical energy to electrical energy. And then send this electrical energy to the grid. This is the overview of the test bench for PMSG setup. This desktop is used to program a control algorithm for PMSG. You can see it's a MATLAB simulating environment. Behind the desktop we have the DSpace micro lab box controller which is the brain of this setup. Here we have a signal junction box for analog signals. These signals are used to feed information to the controller. And the PWM switching command is generated from micro light box and converted to fiber optic signal. And this fiber optic signal goes to the two inverters. So these are fiber optical cables. So you can see there are two inverters which is on the left side and the right side. They are identical inverters, which is a standard three-phase inverter. It means each inverter has six IGBT switches. These inverter or IGBT switches are controlled by these fiber optical cables. And these two inverters are connected by this cable, which is a common DC link voltage and uh, it, it is called back-to-back -back mode connection so the two inverters share the same DC link voltage and the inverter on the left side is called grid side inverter the inverter on the right side is called generator side inverter the purpose of the grid side inverter which is located on the right uh, left side is that it is used to stabilize the DC link voltage of the PMSG setup. And based on this stabilized DC link voltage, the generator side inverter, which is here, will try to inject some AC current into the stator windings of the PMSG so that we can have some power generation. On the left side of the inverter, we have these black boxes, these are called sensor box. The purpose of sensor box is to measure the voltage or current information from, wi uh, from wireless point of the system and feed such information to this space controller. It's like the eyes and ears of the system. On the left side we have another inverter. This inverter, what's the difference between this inverter and the inverter over there? is that the inverter on the right side use fiber optical cables from this space controller to control its IGBT while this inverter on the left side uses original control board from Danforth and the purpose of this inverter is to drive the PMSM or permanent magnet synchronous motor and use this PMSM to drive PMSG behind the Danforth inverter for PMSM, we have an LCL filter. The purpose of this LCL filter is to insert this filter between the grid and the inverter here. So this is called a grid side inverter. And uh, why we want to use LCL filter? Because using LCL filter we have a sinusoidal current or sinusoidal AC current being injected to the grid, which is much better. So this is the overview of the system for PMSG.
And here we have two transformers because the grid voltage is 415 volts line to line and the PMSG and the inverter sometimes need less voltage so we'll have to use some transformer. So this is the DSpace human machine interface which is designed by myself in order to run the permanent magnet synchronous generator or PMSG first I'm going to enable the grid side inverter I click this button you can see the DC voltage is following my reference so I want 380 volts it's giving me 380 next I'm going to give some DC current in the winding of PMSG why? because we want to find the initial position that position is defined as zero in the controller otherwise we will mess up with the control so we first we will have to give some DC current in the winding of PMSG and uh, the rotor of PMSG will be attracted and locked to that position this is our zero position now we want to reset the encoder position initially the encoder thinks we are at 102 degree but we should be at zero so we should push this button okay we have reset our rotor position to be zero now I'm going, going to energize the generator side inverter okay the PMSG is now in standing steel mode if I give a torque command very small torque command the PMSG begins to spin PMSG setup on the right side is PMSG on the left side is PMSM remember I have given the PMSG command of plus 10 newton meter torque and following that command the PMSG is spinning the shaft of this setup at clockwise direction this means clockwise direction is a positive direction for PMSG I'm going to spin the PMSM now using this Stanford's inverter by push this button the PMSM will be driving the PMSG PMSM is running at 100 rpm but in the counterclockwise direction and remember for our PMSG we are going to generate a clockwise direction torque which is opposing this direction in this way we will be converting elect uh, mechanical power to electrical power the PMSG is now in standby mode the torque reference is zero if I increase torque reference for PMSG to 100 and from the measurement of the torque we know it's 93 almost 100 the rated torque of this machine is about 200 so if I increase my reference to 200 and I look at my torque feedback it's 162 so there is some difference between my command and actual torque that I can get from this PMSG in order to explain the difference between my reference torque and actual torque we have to look at the PMSG model so these equations shows the PMSG and uh, pay attention to the third equation that is the torque of PMSG by identification we have found that this PMSG is not a surface PMSG it is the interior PMSG while the interior PMSG means the magnet is inserted inside the rotor by doing so 
the so LQ and LD will be different. If we have a surface PMSG, LD will be equal to LQ, so this term here will be zero. So we only control the torque of PMSG by control the IQ here. For a interior PMSG, LQ will be bigger than LD. So this term will be negative. So in order to generate a positive torque, we need another negative ID here. Therefore, for PMSG, there are two torque components. The first component is on the left side, which represents the torque that can be generated by electromagnetic force. The second term here represents the torque that can be generated by reluctance force. So these two forces in principle are different, but if you combine them together, you can have additional uh, boost for the output of PMSG. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to increase the reference for ID to a minus value. So this is a minus value, this is a minus value, and the overall this term will be a positive value. This value will be added to the existing torque to boost the torque output from PMSG. So right now the PMSG is running at 100 RPM and my torque reference value is 200 Newton meter. The actual torque from PMSG is 160. If I have some minus ID current here, in theory we should have more torque from PMSG. So let's take a look. I increase my ID current to be minus 7. Look at my torque, it's 193, almost 200. If I continue to increase my ID torque, we will have more torque, almost 200. We are now running the PMSG at 200 RPM with a torque of 200 Newton meter, so that's a lot of torque but a very slow speed. That is the full load condition for the PMSG. On the right side is PMSG. On the left side is PMSM. So the PMSM is driving the PMSG at full power and all this mechanical power is converted to electrical power by PMSG. So you can hear the noise from the transformer and uh, this is the full load condition for PMSG setup. We are now running at full load.